We will need the order of operations to simplify this expression. If you follow the order of operations, you see that your first step is parentheses. Remember, that means you're supposed to do what's inside the parentheses. When we look inside the parentheses here, we see several operations that need to be completed. We see exponents, subtraction, and multiplication. So what we need to do is we need to treat the inside of these parentheses as its own problem and work through the order of operations before we can even move outside of the parentheses. So when I look inside of those parentheses, the first thing I see is exponents, I also see subtraction, and I also see multiplication. That means I'm going to be using these three steps that were circled at the bottom but I have to do them in the order that they fall in the order of operations. So I will do exponents first. So the first exponent I see is 3 cubed, which is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So my new expression is going to have 27 in the spot where the 3 cubed was. <clears throat> now, my parentheses are still there. I'm not done with my parentheses. I'm still working inside of my parentheses. I've taken care of the exponents inside my parentheses. Notice how I'm not doing anything with the exponent of 2 that I see outside the parentheses yet. I'm working a problem within a problem. I'm doing everything inside the parentheses first. Multiplication or division comes next. So 6 times 4 is my next step. Now, I'm still inside my parentheses. I still have subtraction to do. So my next step is the 27 minus 24. All right, now I am done with the exponents, the multiplying, dividing, and the adding and subtracting that was inside my parentheses. So I can get rid of all those. And now I'm finally done with my parentheses step. So I was working a problem within a problem. Now I'm back on the outside and I'm able to look at what's on the outside of those parentheses. So after parentheses comes exponents. So now I will deal with that exponent of 2. It has a base of 3, so 3 squared equals 9. So this becomes 108 divided by 9. So my division will be my last step. We'll perform the long division down at the bottom, and my final answer is 12.